Hello everyone and welcome to another super science video at the Mass Dunton Regional Library. I'm Ms. Stephanie, one of the librarians in the Youth Service Services Department here, and today we're going to be continuing our series on the symbol machines. And the experiment we're going to be doing today is going to be about the symbol machine, the lever. And levers are simple machines and they only have two parts that work. The arm, which is this long rigid part right here, and the fulcrum, which is where it's an object where the arm can rest or rotate and a person pushes or pulls the arm and it moves the object or the load on the lever and the farther the force of the person's movement the easier it is it is to lift this load. Now this may be looking like a little familiar something you may see on a playground like a seesaw and what we're going to do for today's experiment is we're going to make our own little seesaw like a lot smaller than the one you would see at a playground and you're not going to need too much stuff to, for today's experiment. So first thing you're gonna need is some type of jar. This used to be a jelly jar, but like a plastic jar would work just fine. Make sure you just get everything out of it and clean it up. Some duct tape, a ruler, a small toy, and two plastic cups. And um, paper cups work too, but the plastic ones are a little more durable. And just like some little things that you can do to balance your seesaw. Like I have some pony beads right here. And then in the craft supply room, I also found these little jewels as well. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, everyone, let's get started in making our seesaw. So the first thing we need to do is set up our fulcrum or the centerpiece, which our lever or the ruler is going to rest on. So let's move these aside a little. And here's my jar, and I'm going to put a piece of tape right in the middle so it will stick better to the table so it doesn't roll away. And for some extra security, I've got a few extra pieces of duct tape that I'm going to use. Put some right here. Put some right here. Great. Now we need to attach the lever or the ruler to the fulcrum. So we'll put this right here put it in the center. Since you want both sides to be even and a ruler is 12 inches, you want to look for the six, which is halfway between, and put it on that piece of tape you just put on your jar. So put it down carefully, firm enough where it won't fall off, but not so tight that the lever won't move, because we want some wiggle room, and it looks like we got it. Next step is we're going to attach our cups to either side. So let's put a piece of tape on both ends. Okay, and then we'll put one cup here. Oh, before we do that, notice how this is level. One side is not higher or lower than the other. That's because they're equal weight or there's no weight on it. But let's see what happens when we put one of the cups on. Yep. See, as you can see, it's starting to sink. And because it's, if one side weighs more than the other, the heavier side sinks down and the lighter side lifts up. But let's make them equal, those sides equal again. Okay, fell over. Hold on a second. You just want to make sure it's secure because we're about to put some items in our cups. Okay. There we go. We're back on balance again and both sides are level or the same. So what you can do a lot of things with it, like see how you can balance the seesaw, make it equal. And I thought we'd get some toys. Like here's my toy. I have a little ball. And as you can see, it's going to be heavier and it's going to, whoa, it's going to sink. I think I might need some more tape. So let me get some more tape real quick. It's not bad. Good time. Hold on one second. Let me retape these to the ruler. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. And I put a lot more duct tape in the cup, so it should stay on our ruler now. So here's our tour ball, and we're going to put it on the end. And as you can see, the load on this is more because the ball is heavier than the empty cup. Now, we're going to play a little guessing game. Now, first, I thought that beads would work, these beads. But actually, it took so many that the cup was overflowing. So I decided to use marbles and the jewels instead. So here's a question for you guys. How many marbles do you think it will take for this lever to become equal or balanced again? So let me make your guess and write it down. 
Okay, so let's see how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, wait a second though. Seven looks like it is too heavy because it, now the marbles are on the ground and the ball's up in the air. So let me take one out and see if that helps. Hmm. There we go. So it took five marbles to make it so that the ball and the marbles were on the same level. So let's take the marbles out and let's try the jewels now. I'll have to... Okay, so we'll put this... The ball is heavier than the empty cup, so it's back on the ground. So how many jewels do you think it will take to make this lever balanced again? I'll let you guys guess. And also, do you think it will be more or less than the marbles? All right, so you've got your guess, so let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Uh oh, it looks like I'm running out of gems. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. Oh, okay, so we're getting close. So let me put this down. It looks like 30 is too much, so let's take a few away. So we're 37, 36, 35, 36, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29. Looks like 29 is the magic number. So you guys can just experiment with different little objects around your home and just see what we will take to keep them balanced. So go have fun. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed making your seesaw and just have fun experimenting and see what all types of games you guys can come up with it. And I have a few books to share. The first is the book that I used for the science um, information for this video. It's called Levers by Louise Spelsberg. I'm this is the series I've been using for our simple machine experiments. And I just like, like the other ones, I really like how they just show different examples of levers and like how they're all around us. And there are some that I didn't even know were existed, like scissors or levers. And there's a scale, it kind of looks like our seesaw. And then catapults are levers as well. And it gives just a lot of interesting information about them. And so if you enjoyed this experiment and want to learn more about levers, then this is the book for you. And then my other book is called Bigger Than You. And this book is just a fun little story about a T-Rex on a seesaw. And it may seem simple, like as you can see, the T-Rex is bigger than the little dinosaur and hit, so the load is all the way to the ground but there is a way to get him to get off the seesaw and I won't spoil it for you, but it is very fun and involves some teamwork as well. And another thing I like for all you dinosaur lovers out there, they had a really cool size chart of all the dinosaur species in the book. And it was just like very interesting, just give some more information about it. So I hope you enjoy that as well. Thank you again for joining me for our super science video. I look forward to sharing more experiments with you soon. Have a good day. Bye.